Here I am, Lucy, with another Winnie the Pooh collection. This one's by Kathy King of Paper Phenomenon. And she also made a stamp to go with, and it's only one, so I'm gonna show it to you right now. It's this one. Oh, let me take it out of this plastic bag. I stuck this card in it, which makes it eat harder for everyone to see it. But here it is. Let me, here it is, but let me show it to you again when I can put it up against something, against one of the papers that's in the collection. I'll take it out. It's really cute. Oh, bother. Look, you know, some of the sayings. 100 Acre Woods. We'll be friends forever. Hello, Pooh. And won't. I don't know what that one is. Won't we, Pooh? Eeyore, Piglet, Pooh, Owl, Christopher Robin, some stars. And on the bottom, sometimes said Pooh, the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. That is so beautiful. So you get that. This is really silly. She really did a good job. Look at Piglet. So this is really cute. It's a six by eight stamp. And um, so here we go. Now hers is a thick paper pad. I don't know that there are doubles. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. It's double-sided, I know that. Some part of the story. Another part of the story. Boy, you can do cards with this too. It's absolutely spectacular. Nice and thick. The back is beautiful also. There is the back. It's gray with some brown. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here's another page. Aww. That is beautiful. More of the story there. The back. Print. This one. Oh, this is adorable. The back. Oh, the back is beautiful too. Kathy always does beautiful stuff. And here is this. Now she makes her papers to be used in albums, which is what I make albums. So this is perfect for me. But look, that scene that was on the other card. All of it on, on the stroke and throw. That is beautiful. Who's this one? Here's the back. I'm gonna go faster. This just got a lot of paper in here. Adorable. Look at the bees. Her paper has a lot of detail. It's, it's covered with stuff, with beautiful stuff. Her paper's not, not plain. It's already textured and everything for you. Look at this. It's an olive green, gorgeous green. Some more stuff. This would make a beautiful journal. You know, some people make those, like Shara Crane makes those beautiful journals. Oh, sh this would be beautiful for that. I don't make like Traveler's Notebooks, but bigger. Um, I don't, I don't make them, but this would be great in that too the colors. I mean, there's some deeper colors in here. 
the swing set. It's the color of this. Look at that. It's beautiful. This. It's more expensive than the regular collections. I think it runs like $24, $24.95 or something. But it's totally worth it. You look at the other collections, you know, you'll see like, like 49th and Market is absolutely beautiful. It's shipped in the USA. The company's in the USA, but it's made in China. Kathy's is made here in the United States. So her papers and stamps are made, are made here in the USA. So because of that, she pays a little bit more. You have to pay a little bit more. But it's totally worth it because this is so creative. She's so creative. Look at this. Look at these pink tones. It looks like somebody just brushed them on here. This is like a mixed media page there. So pretty. If I get in close, you could see see all the detail in there? This one too. This is the next page. I have to kind of like scroll over it for you to see everything because it's just so much happening on the one page. Here's the back. That's gorgeous. Here's this page. Woo! Look at that. And you get a white page with some veining there, gray veining. You get this page. Like say you don't want so much going on, you've got some of these. And you've got that. If I get up close, you can see the different stuff right in there. There's this page. Look at that. There's that page. It's like lavender. Let's see. Goes into this page. That page. Oops, I'm dropping some stuff. This page, like an olive green. This page. These are like four by six. These are very pretty. solid, pretty, and then this more 4x6, like for journaling spots, journaling cards, the back is beautiful, look at that, and these look like it's ephemera that you can cut out, that you can fussy cut, but it's not so detailed that it's going to take you a long time. You could probably do it if you have one of those machines that of scan and cut. But um, if you don't, look, that's easy. Maybe around his tail would be a little hard. I have one more collection to show you after this. The one I don't have is Country Craft Creations. They have a collection too. I don't, wasn't too crazy about the colors, so I didn't get that one, but I am crazy about this one. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful stuff. The characters don't think too much. I should have that here on my desk. But this is pretty. And how we, beautiful and that's the last page oops I was going to show you on a solid let me turn this over and show you what those stamps look like okay here we go there we can see them nice Okay, I'm going to upload this, and then I'll look for that very last stamp. I mean, the very last um, 12 by 12 kit that I have. And I also have some cardboard, like chipboard um, elements. And I've had them for a very, very long time, but I see they've come back. Somebody carries them. I want to say Frank Garcia, but I'm not sure. Somebody carry maybe scrapbook.com. They're wooden. I mean, they're chipboard, and they're really, really cool. So I'll show you those to you too. Okay.
拜。